Come on, girls. Casey Ruxiger Johnson readies her kids for school, and every morning before dropping them off, she says a prayer. God, we thank you for this beautiful morning, and for all the kids in this car and all the kids coming to school today, we pray protection on them. Dropping the kids off at school is um, no longer the hardest part of my day. I've spent a lot of years working through that. Hi, baby, love you. A seemingly routine activity is anything but for Johnson. She survived the Columbine High School shooting 20 years ago in Littleton, Colorado. There's not a day that goes by when I drop them off that I don't think about um, what I went through. <laughs> the final body count, 15. Most of those found in the library, including the two teens who killed themselves. 12 students and a teacher were killed when two students went on a shooting spree on April 20th, 1999. Johnson was wounded in her arm and shoulder in the library. I can still hear the shot that hit me. Many of the Columbine survivors are now parents like Johnson and Amy Over. Having school-age kids has brought some of the memories and pain to the forefront. The first day that I dropped Brianna off at school, I ended up having my first panic attack. Over says counseling has helped with her anxiety. It's this fear of death and fear of um, that something's going to happen to my children. For the survivors, those fears spike with every school shooting. Since Columbine, dozens more students have been killed at Virginia Tech, Sandy Hook, Parkland and elsewhere. School security is now a multi-billion dollar industry. Students practice active shooter drills. For Johnson, the extra precautions are a comfort, yet a worry. It just made me really sad that our kids have to do lockdown drills and have to be talked to about these kind of things, and that she, as an eight-year-old, would think that maybe the bad guy would find her. And that was before she knew that the bad guys had found mommy. It was really sad. She considered homeschooling to avoid having her kids in school, but decided that she didn't want fear to rule her life. On the 20th anniversary of Columbine, she'll take the day off and do a trip with her family like she usually does. I love being a mom more than anything. Um, I'm grateful I have the chance to be a mom. I know some of my classmates weren't given that opportunity and I don't take it lightly and I don't take it for granted which is why Johnson cherishes even the smaller moments with her children. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press.